Hey guys, it's MJ from Endless RVing. Now, before technology came around, people just kind of had to wing it when traveling. Now, with RVing apps that are so many out there, we have so many ways to make life easier. So in today's video, I am gonna focus on 10 RVing apps that we use to make our life easier and make sure that you stay because one of the later ones is an app that can actually keep you out of prison. All right, so number one is one that is very popular. A lot of people know about this. It's called Campendium. So we've used this a lot. Campendium is a huge app, all right? You have over 350,000 people that are reviewing campgrounds on there. They not only have just your regular RV campgrounds, they have BLM, they have national parks, they have free camping on there. So there's all different types of camping that you can search on there. Not only does it talk about the campgrounds and things like that, but we use it a lot to find specific information on internet and cellular signals at different parks. So we've actually not stayed in certain places because we found on there that the internet was not gonna be something that was really usable for us. So this is a great app. I highly recommend it. Number two is the Ring app. Now. This may not apply to all RVers, but for us it does. So if you're not familiar with the Ring app, it has to do in association with Ring products, Ring doorbells, Ring cameras, Ring alarm systems, whatever it may be. We use the Ring app for several reasons. We do have a Ring camera on our motorhome. So what does the Ring app allow us to do? Well, the first thing is that it gives you alerts when somebody walks past your RV. Pretty cool if you're at a campground, you got people that are around your RV that you don't want them to be whatever it may be, it gives you those alerts. The second thing is, if you have a ring doorbell, if somebody hits that doorbell, you get an alert and it activates the camera so you can see who's at the door of your RV. The third thing, and again, ring does many different things, but we're just gonna talk about the big things. The third thing is it allows you to live into the camera at any time. So you open up the app, you hit the live button, and as long as your battery is charged, is power going to that ring, and you have a good internet connection, you will have a live view of what is going on on their ring doorbell. And this comes in really useful, at least for us. Our RV was just at a uh, RV shop and I was like totally creeping. I was checking. Jeez. I was checking the ring doorbell and I actually could see the RV techs going in and out. We also have cameras inside the RV so I could see what they were doing. Total creeper move on my behalf. So number two, the ring app. Number three is an app called Fine Tower. At least that is what it's called on the Apple App Store. What is Fine Tower? So when you are out in a more remote location and the cell signal say is not that good, at least the setup we have, and we've talked about this in other videos, we'll link one above. We have a directional antenna. In order for that to work, it's directional. The antenna needs to be pointed in the direction of the cell tower where we're getting service. So this is where the Find Tower app comes in. You load up that app and like, for example, we're on Verizon, it will show you where your cell phone is connected. What is the closest tower? It actually shows you all the towers in the area. From there, you can see what's the closest tower to you. It has AT&T, Verizon, Sprint no longer exists, T-Mobile. You can see all the towers and then that allows you to point your directional antenna toward that direction so you can get the best reception and as a result, the best internet speeds. So number four, and this is kind of related to, I believe, number two, which was the Ring app, is gonna be the Nest app. Now this could apply to any app you have regarding cameras. Now if you remember, I said when our RV was at the RV shop, I was creeping on the text because we have cameras inside the RV. They happen to be Nest cameras. And the only reason why we have Nest cameras and not Ring cameras is because we had a bunch of extra Nest cameras that were old and we just didn't want to buy new ones. So we use a different camera. But what does the Nest app do? Essentially, this is pretty much the same thing the Ring app does. It allows you to go in, you can get alerts, you can set up alerts for dog barks, for people motion, all kind of different things. And most importantly, allows you to live in. Now, we reason why we have cameras inside the RV, besides security reasons, the real reasons for the dogs. So when we leave the RV, we can go in, the Nest cam is running all the time. So we can live in and we can see exactly what they're doing. You could also see like if it starts getting hot in the RV, you can see, you know, we saw the dogs panting, we might know something is going on. So anyway, number four, the Nest app. All right, number five is actually a navigation app. So as we've said in previous videos, the navigation system, the Rand McNally on our Bay Star, sucks and we don't like it. It's, it 
I mean, I think it's gotten a little better with certain updates, but we just don't feel 100% comfortable with it. So we do use alternative apps when we're driving. One of our favorites is Google Maps. I like Google Maps. Waze is also another navigation app that we use. You know, kind of tells you the traffic and things that are happening, if there's accidents or police on the road, but Google Maps, I find, at least for me, has been the most reliable, and I'm really happy with that. So we, use, we usually have like two or three going at one time, but definitely a navigation app is in our top 10. And what's the most important thing? The most important thing? It's free. Oh, wow, that is free. Yes. And by the way, Izzy doesn't trust any of them. Anytime they tell him where to go, he yells at it and says that it's wrong. But then I just kind of take over and we go from there. Number six has to do with gas. Now, fuel. relax, it's fuel, yes. So it's called Gas Buddy. A lot of you probably use it, but we've used this mostly on our longer trips. So when we drove down to Florida, we definitely use this and it helped us plan out, all right, where's the cheapest fuel that we're going to use to fill up, all right? And we used it and it was accurate. It's also a free app. So if you don't have it, Check out Gas Buddy number six. All right, number seven. Now, a lot of you may not want to use this, but a lot of you might. It's called Happy Cow. Now, Happy Cow is an app that we use a crazy amount when we travel, wherever we go, for RV, hotel, whatever. And what it is, it's an app that gives you really healthy restaurant options in the area that you are. Most of it is vegan. They have a lot of vegetarian too. Yeah, they, they'll tell you if a place actually has vegan options or if it's strictly vegan, tons of reviews. And we have found a ridiculous amount of restaurant choices on there in all different parts of the country. And in most of the time, the, re the reviews are really reliable. So if you want to, even if you're not vegan or vegetarian, it's just healthy options. So check it out. Happy cow, number seven. Number eight has to do with weather. Now, Weather, I love weather. Although, it's pretty funny. I've always loved weather, but in college, I took an understanding the weather course and I got a D plus. I'm a straight A student and I had a D plus on my report card because I never went to the class because the professor sucked, but I digress. Anyway, I love weather. There's two specific apps that I use consistently when we're preparing to travel and when we are traveling, which is the Weather Channel app and my radar. So the Weather Channel, again, you can program in any town, city, country, whatever, wherever you're going, put it in there. It's going to give you the daily. It's going to give you an hourly. It just allows us to prepare. So for example, as the time of this filming, we're going away within a week, which is the beginning of April. Now the temperatures were supposed to be above freezing, but now we look, and again, I track it every day. We look and it's not going to be. So we know, we know we had to fill up on propane. We know that we're going to have to have the heaters going in the basement. So it really helps us plan our trips better. My radar is great because if you're at a place and you're camping, this is real time showing storms moving in, how far it is from the location that you are. It's really helpful in helping you plan. Should we bring our towels in from the chair? Should we bring the awning in? You're able to see, and in terms of safety, it's gonna help you a lot. So number eight, the Weather Channel and my radar. Number nine, I bet you thought we forgot this, is YouTube. We do use YouTube a lot. We use it to learn how to do things. We learn it obviously because we have a channel. Anytime we need to search something, how to do something, if we want an informative video, YouTube really is the first place we go. Izzy spends all his time when he's running on the treadmill on YouTube learning new geeky things. So we use it for all different reasons. Obviously our channel is the main one, but if you don't have YouTube, which you do because you're watching this. That is our number nine favorite app. How about for checking campground reviews? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, for that too. yeah, yeah. I mean, I use I use TripAdvisor and you know, or, uh, not TripAdvisor, Campendium and, and a lot of other written websites. But yeah, it's definitely because we've done a ton of campground reviews. If you're looking for, you want to see pictures and video of places you're planning on going definitely a good place to check it out. All right, so number ten. I told you that this is something that you could avoid prison with, and I'm gonna explain why. Number 10 is the CCW app. Now we get questions all the time, especially on our security video, which we'll actually link above that we did about gun laws. And can I carry my gun into this state? And what do I have to do if I'm going into a state that doesn't honor whatever? So the CCW app is a wonderful app. I don't think it's free. It's extremely cheap though. I think I just paid like a dollar for a year or something. What it does, it's 
it's first of all it's updated constantly it's going to tell you it's going to give you a country map and it's going to tell you what states are going to reciprocate your state's concealed carry permit so this way you'll be able to know exactly which states you can enter safely and not have to take other precautions right so legally this is going to cover you if you go come into new jersey and you're carrying and you're stopped it's going to be a big problem yeah you are going to get arrested so this is a really really important app to check out get on your phone and use it if you are a gun owner this is something that you definitely want to use there are so many amazing rv apps out there share in the comments your favorite apps i'm sure we share some similar ones and i'm sure there's a lot that we don't even know about so put yours in the comments below so we can learn some new ones and just keep dumping stuff onto our phone from izzy and myself we thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the road